Well, hello. Welcome back. Did we all have a good Thanksgiving vacation? Sorry, took a little bit longer than I thought. Um, now we're gearing up for Christmas, right? Did everybody uh, fill out the Christmas list? Did um, we get to have that extra portion of stuffing when we were sitting at the dining room table with grandma and grandpa? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, you come back to Game Station Tokyo. My name is Tokyo Blue. Today we're doing The Walking Dead. We're picking up uh, on season one. This is going to be the start of episode two. It's called uh, Starved for Help. So thank you guys for coming on back. It's always good to see you. Let's get this game started. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Bingo! Out of the ballpark. I've been working on the railroad stuff. <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, we got Damn. the... What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. We got another uh, guy well, in the group. That's another meal lost. It's okay, let's I take his feet. We, went we through need some all lucky charms. Food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. If they boil it a little longer, it'll be clean. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Hmm... We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. Looks like the kids are Penny's starving. More luck than we are out here. <laughs> I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Oh, because I saved him. Gave him some nitro. Uh... He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but guys, the guy's guy, muscle. Guy's a little he's chunky, a walking too. Pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? I hear you. Yeah, yeah. flat. I wasn't too embarrassed by it. I got back up after that. Hey, let's shoot that bird. 
It's mine. He's gonna draw in some zombies. Don't do that. So close, too. Throw a rock at it. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. Follow us back to the really nest. Get its hungry. eggs. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Oh, the action's building. This guy's some sort of biker. Fight or flight. Maybe he's a poor pilot. Uh-oh. Someone getting their guts ripped open. Oh. Bunch of college Jesus college Christ. kids on a hazing oh, ritual. No, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Who get, the get heck is this? Get it off, God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, oh, maybe stop they can crying. Help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> Who know. Cares? There's a guy dying please, in front of you. We won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Him. Please. Ben, shut up. Yeah, My dad yeah, was special yeah. forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. He's all we got. We gotta get him out of there. Oh god, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, hurry. I'm gonna get you for killing my friend Henry. <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. <laughs> There's no release latch. Let's just cut his leg off. Oh no. Oh, you know, get ready to split, guys. Now we're never leave. Please get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Oh, here it comes. Time Kenny, for the chop keep chop. Those walkers off of me. Uh, oh, it's some. Goodbye. <laughs> Golly, do something. It'll hurt, but no, you'll no, live. No. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to get the chain. Bye, boy. <laughs> Had to be that way. Besides, we need food. Oh. So cut it a little higher. There'll be some extra cold cuts for next week. <laughs> Lee, it has to be now. Oh, yeah. What am I looking at? Oh. Bingo. Let's get a tourniquet on it. Take Press your shoe lease off. Make a tourniquet, quick. Yeah, I cut his leg for you. Right. Grab him and let's go. He's too heavy. Just leave him now. Behind you, Travis! Oh come no! On, what on, was he drinking move. the blood off the ground? Run, kid. Oh, there's. Here's Mrs. Uh, Travis from uh, English class. Oh, yummy. Yeah, I'm going hungry. Well, welcome to episode two of The Walking Dead. I guess these guys have been kind of digging it out here. He's not really banging on the wood, he just does that to relieve stress. <laughs> I'm gonna drive you crazy by kicking this ball into this can all day long. Mommy, she doesn't like me. I always wanted to be a lifeguard. Dad, you're driving me crazy. She's driving me crazy. I always wanted to be a lifeguard. Something stern in the woods. It's me, Glenn. No more pizzas to sell. <whistles> Meanwhile, the attack comes from behind. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell? 
hell are they doing? More people? Come More on. mouths to feed? What happened? Oh, oh, God. What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Wait. I, I don't know. Can't Wait. fix a missing body part. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people Let's yet. Let's draw a line down the middle of the uh, motel. Come on, Lily. These are people. You stay people on your side. To survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are And you're no more used to us. So. Um, no? Fine, you guys fight it. I had home economics class. I can cook. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, She wasn't okay? drawing. You she like was kicking a ball. leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Watch it, buddy. Oh, come I got a on. Rifle. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide <laughs> whose side you're on. <laughs> I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Oh, yuck. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with Shouldn't the Shouldn't he be like out of medicine? Like, pharmaceutical only carries, uh, only so much. Nitro. I think this is easy he uses for me. nitro. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. I'll take a little swipe of that cheese. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can lick it out from under my nails. Ten hungry people. Hmm. I'll just eat it all for myself. <laughs> yes, yes. Divvy out the food now. Come on, we're hungry. Well, the guy that's passed out doesn't need to eat. Why don't we bleed him a little bit for some food, uh, blood, for sustenance? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Some Just cheese sticks. Apply some pressure here while I try <laughs> to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. What happened? Oh, uh, well he tripped. It's what your husband wanted. To cut his leg I love off. That man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. He's just well, lie. You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Mm -hmm. Who do I give the food to? Oh, no, no. Ooh, I'm gonna look these cans empty. Can I play with the ball? While I think this out? No. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. I'm a little nervous. Want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Uh-oh. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Katja can save him. Mm. 
Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Oh, <laughs> that guy's fantastic. Want some food? Uh, I have to decide who gets Eat food. Over the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? I'd like to lick yeah, the blood off of it. For a bit. Get a little protein. Raw protein. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I asked hey, for that first. I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you've been told? talking behind my back? That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. Hmm. Can't wait till Christmas. <laughs> oh, and by the way, hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving. <sighs> what do you want now? Uh... You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. <sighs> Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. <laughs> Now, if I wanted to, could I go back and give her some food? Ooh, look at all the food I got. Whew. I'm going to go out and have myself my own party. Uh, you will give her some food. She's Here, a doctor. Something. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. <gasps> I need space, Lee. God darn you. Hey, what's this? Maybe there's food in there. Sturdy. Better snack will hold up forever. Just like the rest of this place. Hmm. Hmm. We dug through those for food a long time ago. Hmm. Mm. Now it stinks. <laughs> if I recall, you had the garbage bins. Uh, they need Glenn. They need a scavenger. Someone who will go out and risk his life to bring back some food for little or no reward. Oh, yeah, I'm going to kick it. Kick it right over the, the fence. Have something to keep them occupied. Yeah, let them play around with some gasoline. <laughs> How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. Right at a little brat that took it. You know. Duck took Thank it. Thank you. Okay, Cause she won't talk I to me. Take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I guess they don't get food. Can I offer them food? Just a Clementine. <laughs> Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Hey, what about me? It's a little I healthier than those place. those Thank cheese you. treats. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um, Enjoy it. You deserve it. I'll give this brat some food, I suppose. Hey, Doc, He's the future. A little food. No, I don't want it. I have this hat. We'll give him the uh, cheese. <laughs> we'll give him the jerky. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. It's nice and salty. Gives him a heart condition. Uh... Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Because we got Drug bed store? bugs. Yeah. Drugstore? Oh, Doug. Doug is gone. Dougaroo, my partner in war. Uh. Okay. Back in a bit. Let's see. I gave 
two people, so I have two more, so I got a cracker and stuff. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. Except for food. No. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? He's married well, already. It's been pretty out of hand. <laughs> you know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, so why we animals just have migrate? To find some. We have to move. Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. Oh, thank you. This doesn't change anything. Now, if anything, she'll share it with uh, her daddy over there. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Mm, so, if I'm right, let's talk to this dude Sorry about your buddy, who's dead. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe That's he his teacher. His leg. There was no other way. Should have brought it back. We could have fried it up. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, it's terrible. I, uh, I want to go home. I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Hit him over the head something. with my trumpet. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. You're don't not getting get any food from me. No I sure hope so. I'm going over to Kenny. If I give Kenny some food, maybe he'll share it. <laughs> Words getting out that you want to leave the motor. He wants to, hit, he wants to no beat somebody out with a rubber tube. Probably our best bet. It won't leave any marks. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Hmm. I gave him the idea to go. Well, since you're going, you won't need to eat this. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about Share my boy? with your family. He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him some. Oh, that's right. Sure. I did give him hand something. It over. Oh, God I'm darn starved. it. Thanks. I unevenly distributed the food. Oh, well. He's going to get it started. Not such an easy job, is it? We're both it's starving. Okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy Especially you. since she killed Doug. The strength to do this every day. My boyfriend. I don't have a choice. We all hey, have choices. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? I gave it to your daughter. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. God darn it. Gonna spike his uh, nitro. Ben, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God, he's fresh meat. I'm getting sick of fresh, this shit. Fresh, fresh meat. 
Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other kid? I cut his leg off and I decided, oh, well, too bad. Maybe he can save her. Whoops. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, he turned. Whoops. Get back. Back. Get over there. Uh, what am I? Oh, my God. Your teeth. You didn't brush this morning, did you? Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, it's a miss. Back. Back. <laughs> Gonna knock his teeth out. Oh, use the stick to get away. Get away. What happened? I was trying to get away. Well. I died. Don't look, Clementine. Don't look. No more hat day free. Oh, you thought you cut your head off. You weren't going to have a hat day. Back. Back. Oh, my head. <laughs> yeah. Pop his eyeballs out. He won't be able to see you. Oh, perfect. This is for not feeding me. Oh, I think I got some of his blood in my you okay? mouth. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, Why'd you bring it. him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You're right. That's why I'm Why leaving. didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! He just Well, turned. your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, yes, please tell us. It's not the bite that does it. It's death. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. I know it is, because I go to school. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. I'm just a when I first high saw school happen, biology student. We were all student. hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. And they made her stronger. Someone went in the she girls' into room a next superhero. morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, oh, I we see just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! I saw a Honey. guy like that in a parking lot the other day. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why move do you need along, gas? Move along. Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few Simple miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? and cheese. We got plenty yummy, at the dairy. Yummy, yummy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going what? with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle <laughs> your pretty pink ass. He's gonna go with we his need daughter. To think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. What? Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon, where we have access to the pharmacy, for Dad. 
That guy's a weed. Gotcha. We go. Why Dad? stay close to the pharmacy? You Take all the medicine that he needs Carly? to the motel, and you're good. I said we go. I'm in. Uh, They're offering food. We gotta at least check it out. I guess I have to go with the the rest of the group. Clementine, what do you think? I think they're all weird. I'm very hungry. All right. Looks like we're going to a dairy. And there you have it. The end of this part. Uh, now, just to recap, we are in season one of episode two, part one of The Walking Dead, the video game, where we follow Lee and Clementine through their adventure. Looks like there's a lot of tension starting to build in the group. Uh, if you guys like what you're seeing, please subscribe. My name is Tokyo Blue. You've come to Game Station Tokyo. Guys, please do come on back. Uh, show me some likes and comments are always appreciated. So, if you do want to comment on something, let me know how your Thanksgiving went. Did you get extra turkey, extra stuffing? Did you get that kiss on the cheek from your grandma and grandpa? Let me know. And did you get your Christmas tree up? Guys, I'll catch you next time. Sayonara. <laughs>